All right, to load a file through the web interface, let's create a table first. I'm going to create a contact table. Let's run this. And then go to databases. Here is the contact table. You can see the uh, the table definition, and then let's, there is the option to load the load the table. Let's use this default warehouse. I'm gonna choose my file. As you can see, I have a file here, contacts file. I have other columns that's needed and five rows. Okay, so I'm gonna select this contact file. Go to select file format. Now I created this format before. Let's uh, create a new one here. So let's say contact form, contact form, name, space, schema is public, CSV, column separator, and this one is a pipe delimited, so it's going to be a verti vertical bar, new line, I think everything else, we're just going to select the default, okay, finish. Now the contact format is created. Let's go next, load options. So there are four options you can choose. For now, we're gonna talk about those later. So let's just say stop loading, go back and return the error. Now let's load it. Okay, so you can see there's an issue. You see the the first, I think the first line is the header. It's still trying to load the row. So you have to say skip the file uh, or continue for the on error option. Okay, let's take a look. Um, let's preview the data. So nothing is loaded. Okay, let's try load again. Load the table. Next. Choose the file. Um, let's create a new format. Um, contact format two. Let's choose a uh, pipe delimited again. Again, then we have to skip the first line, otherwise it will cause an issue. Okay. Now load options. Let's choose stop loading again to load it. See, it tries to encrypt the file first and then load the file. So it's, it, it says five rows loaded. Let's go to the, go to, um, take a look, look at the file on uh, the table. Now you can see all the five records are loaded. Let's take a look at the history. Um, let's see. So, uh, First, we created the, this uh, file format, right? And then it put the file from the browser into the table stage, all right? And then it ran the copy into command to load from the table stage into the table. And then last, last step, we just check the records in the table, contact table. Okay, there we go. This is how you load the ta uh, table using the web interface of Snowflake.